And I think that's the thing. I think is if you if you're so focused on looking, because it's all about perception. If you're focused on looking like you have your life together versus actually having it together, whatever that means to you, you start to fall into a rut. And most people my age nowadays are younger. They, we tend to look at pictures, images, videos, things online, and we, we get a sense of fear. Fear as in, which fear translates to lack in this sense. So like a lack of money, a lack of, you know what I mean? That's always gonna be somebody doing better than you. But that's the thing, from the outside looking in, it seems like they're doing better than you, which is, I guess it's like a race, you know, we talk about the rat race. It seems like you're doing better than you, but like, are they? And that's the thing. The goal shouldn't be to like try to do better than the next person. You know, it, it's it's really, it's really about staying in your lane and, and not copying someone, you know, just really focusing on yourself. Um, I think life is like a book in a sense of like, you only get one chapter. You only get that one chapter, you can't skip ahead. You can't read like the back of it and be like, okay, I got the gist of it. Like, you just have to go. And I think if you're looking at pictures on Instagram, if you're looking at other people and your attention is not focused on you, then you really, you really get depressed. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, there's sometimes even myself, like, I'll look online and I see this, that, and I'm like, man, I wish I could do that. But I'll, I'll remind myself, like, you know what? I don't see 90% of what goes on in their life. I only see the 10% that they post. So I try not to, I try not to look at that like a, in an envious way or like a, a jealous type way. And I try to stay on my own lane because lately I've, I've, I've understood the concept of fear and understand that when you remove the fear, you remove, it's almost like removing part of the ego, right? The ego is not necessarily a bad thing, but when you remove that fear, you do, like you do whatever you wanna do. Think about that for a second. Think about that for a second while I take a drink. Think about how we can literally do whatever we put our minds to. Like that is so, like the universe has a line for you to be exactly where you are exactly right now in this moment. You're hearing the sound of my voice, whether you're watching, wherever you're watching this from, you're hearing the sound of my voice and everything has a line for you to hear this message. Whoever needs to hear this, like, think about it. Most people watch my videos are between 18 to 25. So think about how young you are. I'm, I just turned 26, but think about how young we are. In 10 years, five years, even a year, we can be a totally different person. We can think differently, right? So just, just think about how much life we have, we have you know, uh, for the rest of our lives. You know, we have so much life ahead of us and we, we, we get depressed and we, we have fear because we feel like we're not what we wanna be, right? We, 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 <laughs> we think about you know, man, look at this person doing this, or look at this person doing this. And you don't realize, you don't realize what's underneath the fat, if that makes sense. Like, there's all the meat right here, but like underneath, like what's up underneath, right? So I just wanna, I don't know, I just wanna encourage you to just, just stay in your own lane and just do you, like, the beauty of, of just doing you is awesome. It's really awesome. I <laughs> I just know we have so much life ahead of us, man. And right now, if you're between 18 and 25, even if you're 30, if you're 35, if you're 40 watching this, your life is not over. You know what I mean? Your life is not over. Just because you see someone else that you think, you think they're doing better than you, does not mean your life is over. If anything, it means that they are where they need to be and you are where you need to be. But there's no need to like compare yourself and be like, mm, 
You know what I mean? Like, oh, he has, she has her life, their life together. What am I doing? I'm 32, I'm 25, and look at this 18 year old, and he's got this, he's got all these riches and all everything. Like, no, 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 no. Remove that fear, right? Remove that fear, and I want you to start to, I want you to try and exercise. So when you, when you wanna go and do something, I, I, I want you to visualize it first. I want you to get a mental picture, right? Uh, I want you to think about how does it feel for you to have what you want? How does it feel for your bank account to be limitless? I mean, to honestly, to go buy, purchase whatever you want, if that's what you want to do, you don't have to check your account. You don't have to worry about paying these bills or you can't do this. You don't have to worry about you. You spend a hundred dollars out on a night of eating you and some friends. You don't have to, you know, uh, think about how that feels. Think about that new car that you wanted, that house that you wanted, you know, that new career path, the online business that you just started. Visualize yourself when I'm talking to I'm talking to you. I want you to go home. I want you to just sit down. I want you to visualize what does it feel like? How does that feel to already be in possession of these things? Cause you cause you know like how can I make this more clear? Like when you sit in a chair. You don't think about whether the chair is gonna hold you. You just sit in the chair, right? Because you subconsciously already know the chair is gonna hold you and you don't even really, you don't think about the, the small things, right? I want you to have that same type of mindset when it comes to your, your life, your goals, your accomplishments, whatever you wanna do, have, achieve. Think about it in a way of it's already been done. It's already yours. So you don't have to you don't have to, um, and that's the thing, there's so much of supply around that you don't have to feel lack if somebody else is doing that. You can clap for them, you can be good job, whether it's your friends, a relative, uh, an enemy, a cousin, whoever, like you can clap for them that they have it. If the same thing you want, you can have the same exact thing. Like just think about that you already have it and that, you know, it's it's yours. And nobody can take that away from you. I think that's that's such a such a you know a thing that you know I really don't think about. Like <laughs> we can do whatever we want. And I just again I just want you to visualize that and understand that. And so because you already have the feeling that you already have it, you have the mental picture, you see yourself already having it, you feel yourself already having it, I can guarantee you. The universe is going to bring that thing that much more closer to you. And you'll see, like, and I've been doing this in my life personally, like, for money and everything else. Like, I see myself in my career, see myself, you know, uh, as a photographer doing this, this, and this. Like, I see myself doing those things. And I, not only that, I feel it, right? I feel it when I see the mental picture. And the universe has brought me literally everything that I've. Like I've manifested everything that I've wanted to do, everything that I've wanted to see, every place I've wanted to go to, every concert I've wanted to go to, like everything. And it's it's nothing to me now. And I say that I say that in a way of like I'm at a point now where when I think about something I want it, I visualize it, I meditate on it, I pray about it, and that's it. I let it go because I know I already have it and it feels great. So I just want you to try that exercise and just understand that let go of the fear that you have because nine times out of ten the thing that you are stressing about the thing that you are worrying about does not happen like we we go in our heads and we create these fake scenarios of things going differently or things ending horribly but they don't happen they really don't they they, they do not happen and once you grasp that and understand that's the ego that's trying to protect you so what it does is it'll create a scenario that has not even happened but you will think is going to happen and so you'll start to worry you'll start to do everything to avoid that and you already know you you already know that the more energy you put in behind it like the more that you fear it it can happen you see what i mean just because you're putting so much energy behind it you know what i mean so I want you to let go 
of the fear. It's easier said than done, but it, it, it's an everyday thing. You know, it's not a one time, okay, I got it and I'm good. It's an everyday thing to remember that your life is yours and you can't be like nobody else and to meditate on what you want and what you want to achieve, okay? Again, it gets easier over time, but it's an everyday thing. Whether it's through meditation, prayer, fasting, whatever you want to do, visualization, which is very powerful, and feeling. Um, I want you to read a book or look up a book called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. It's such a powerful tool that I have read. I'm currently rereading it right now because it's so powerful. It talks about your subconscious mind and what you feed it, the images that you see, the music that you hear, things that go within your subconscious mind that becomes a a day-to-day -day, um basically basically what's what's fed into the subconscious mind reflects on the, the outer. What's on the inner reflects on the outer, and we already know that. That's not who you are. Be an observer of your thoughts. You know, this last thing I'll say, like be be an observer of your thoughts. When you have those thoughts, like when you become aware, you're like, oh man, why did I think that? Right? That's also about like controlling your emotions and becoming a master of your emotions, which is another video. But when you become aware, you can start to really stop yourself before you, you know, it's, it's, it's such a good thing. You know, when the fear comes, you can, you can feel it in your body and you can also like you can see it in your mind. You're like, why, why did I think that? I shouldn't have thought that, right? And you can like, no, that's not going to happen. I mean, and you catch yourself. Most people, they can't, most people don't get to that level, but you start to like know that you are not your thoughts, but merely your thoughts are like a figment of your imagination. And you can either let your thoughts move you in such a positive direction through visualization, or you can let your thoughts control you with fear to where you can't, move ahead in life or do anything because your thoughts have such a strong hold over you okay think about what i'm saying